Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss one important biochemical tool which is used for the assessment of acid base balance as well as for the diagnosis of different causes of metabolic acidosis that is anion gap. The concentration of anions and cations in the plasma must be equal to maintain electrical neutrality. Therefore, there is no real anion gap in the plasma. Anion gap is not a physiological reality. Concept of anion gap was first discovered when some of the chloride and bicarbonate values was subtracted from the sodium and potassium values and the difference which was discovered was 16 milliequivalent per liter in the healthy individuals. The anion gap is the difference between unmeasured anions and unmeasured cations and it is estimated as the value of unmeasured anions are subtracted from the value of unmeasured cations. For example, if the values of sodium is 142, potassium is 4, chloride is 103 and bicarbonate is 27. So we are getting the value of 16 milliequivalent per liter. So this is how you can derive the anion gap value. Most important unmeasured cations include calcium, magnesium and the major unmeasured anions are albumin, phosphate, sulphate and other organic anions. So this is the picture showing the normal anion gap. These are the unmeasured cations which include sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium and immunoglobulin. And these, are, these are the unmeasured anions which includes chloride, bicarbonate, albumin, phosphate and immunoglobulin A. And the normal range of anion gap is 8 to 16 milliequivalent per liter. This is the normal range of anion gap. Now clinical significance of anion gap. So anion gap is the important biochemical tool which sometimes help in the assessment of acid base problems as well as it also helps in the diagnosis of different causes of metabolic acidosis. In metabolic acidosis, the anion gap can increase or remain normal depending on the cause of acidosis. So first we will see metabolic acidosis associated with increased anion gap. So as we have seen in the acid base disorder, in the metabolic acidosis it is associated with decreased plasma level of bicarbonate. So to maintain electron neutrality, Concentration of anions that is either chloride or an unmeasured anion must increase. So if the decrease in plasma bicarbonate value is not uh, accompanied by increased chloride, the anion gap will increase and it is referred as a increased anion gap acidosis or normochloromic acidosis. If the decrease in plasma bicarbonate value is not accompanied by increased chloride value anion gap will increase and it is referred as a increased anion gap acidosis or normochloromic acidosis. And the second type of metabolic acidosis is metabolic acidosis associated with normal anion gap. If the decrease in plasma bicarbonate is accompanied by increased chloride, the anion gap is remained normal therefore it is referred as a hyperchloramic metabolic acidosis as there is an increase in the chloride value or normal anion gap acidosis. So this is the picture showing the normal anion gap. This is the normal anion gap which is the difference between unmeasured cations and unmeasured anions. This is the high anion gap metabolic acidosis as reduction in the bicarbonate value is not accompanied by increase in the chloride value. So there is an increase in the anion gap. And this is the normal anion gap metabolic acidosis because the decrease in the bicarbonate value is accompanied by increase in the chloride value. Therefore, it is a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis as there is a normal anion gap value. Now we will see the example of metabolic acidosis associated with increased and normal anion gap. So this is the table showing the causes of increased anion gap as well as the normal anion gap. So the metabolic acidosis which is caused by excess non-volatile acids like lactic acid or ketoacidosis 
it is associated with an increased plasma anion gap because the fall in bicarbonate is not accompanied by an equal increase in the chloride so these are the causes of increased anion gap metabolic acidosis and you can remember this causes by remembering one mnemonic that is dr maples so in the dr maples d stands for diabetic ketoacidosis r stands for renal failure m stands for methanol toxicity a stands for alcoholic ketoacidosis p e stands for paracetamol toxicity l stands for lactic acidosis e stands for ethylene glycol poisoning and s stands for salicylic toxicity so this is how you can remember the causes of increased anion gap metabolic acidosis by remembering mnemonic that is dr maples and these are the causes of normal anion gap metabolic acidosis the cause of normal anion gap metabolic acidosis is the loss of bicarbonate rich fluid from either the kidney or gastrointestinal tract as bicarbonate is lost chloride ions are reabsorbed with sodium or potassium to maintain the electron neutrality so the causes are gastrointestinal fluid loss like diarrhea pancreatitis intestinal fistula renal tubular acidosis or acetazolamide therapy acetazolamide is the example of carbonic anhydrase inhibitor so this is the table showing the causes of increase anion gap metabolic acidosis as well as normal anion gap metabolic acidosis you have to remember the causes because it is asked frequently in various entrance examination now we will see various multiple choice question related to the anion gap the first question is anion gap is the difference in the plasma concentration of chloride minus bicarbonate sodium minus chloride sodium plus potassium minus chloride plus bicarbonate sum of cations minus sum of anions so the correct answer is c that is sodium plus potassium minus chloride plus bicarbonate that is unmeasured cations and unmeasured anions so the correct answer is c second question is normal anion gap in the plasma is about a 5 milli equivalent per liter b 15 milli equivalent per liter c 25 milli equivalent per liter and d 40 milli equivalent per liter so correct answer is the normal range of anion gap is 18 8 to 16 milli equivalent per liter so the correct answer is 15 milli equivalent per liter normal range is 8 to 16 milli equivalent per liter so the correct answer is b anion gap is normal in a hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis b diabetic ketoacidosis c lactic acidosis and d none of the above so b diabetic ketoacidosis and lactic acidosis are the causes of increased anion gap metabolic acidosis so the correct answer is a hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis as there is a increase in the chloride value so the correct answer is a fourth question is anion gap is increased in a renal tubular acidosis b metabolic acidosis resulting from diarrhea c metabolic acidosis resulting from intestinal obstruction and d diabetic ketoacidosis so a b and c they are the causes of normal anion gap metabolic acidosis so the correct answer is b diabetic ketoacidosis and the diabetic ketoacidosis and i and gap is increased this are the my reference thank you for watching please like share and subscribe biochemistry basics by dr amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it thank you